All right, moving on, we will look at vector math and um, what that means. Uh, first off, um, we're looking at Um, this helicopter. This helicopter is dropping a package. This package is going to uh, go one of five ways as the helicopter travels this way. Now I just want you to make a prediction. Um, at some point you'll be able to tell me a little bit better what the answer is. Okay, But the helicopter is moving in that direction. Okay, vectors and scale just review vectors, magnitude, and direction. Scalars just have a magnitude and no direction. So, for example, in the car you see in this uh, picture, these green arrows are velocity vectors. They show the scale to tell you how fast it's going, but also the, by pointing the arrow, we see the direction. So these are velocity because they have a magnitude and a direction. Um, vectors can be added. So we can do what's called a graphical method if we know we go in eight kilometers east and six kilometers east. We can add those together to get a resultant, which is 14 kilometers east. We also know if we go eight to the east and then six more to the west, we can subtract them to find a resultant, which in this case would be two. So we can use addition of vectors to do that. <clears throat> now, if we're not walking in a straight line and we're walking at an angle, we can use, or walking in a, at, at, on a turn, let's say, um, we travel 10 kilometers east and then we go five kilometers north to find our displacement we add the vectors okay um, we can use the Pythagorean theorem to do that and what we do is we get 11.2 kilometers and the angle we can solve for using trig to get 27 degrees now if we take vectors and do it in reverse order let's say we do north and then east what we find is our resultant is still going to be the same so the order of adding vectors doesn't matter um, let's say we have three vectors, and we have one, we have one, two, and three, and we we graph them. We we draw a picture one, then two, then three. We go from the, where we started to where we finished. Obviously, the definition of displacement, and in doing so, we can find the resultant vector, and we can do that mathematically. Um, let's say we can uh, want to do this graphically another way. Our two vectors, we add them together. Obviously, one and two was called tip to tail, the tip of one to the tail of the other. We can find the resultant. Parallelogram method is we can draw a parallelogram using the vectors and find the resultant. Now, what's wrong is that we don't want to do this way. We want to go away from the uh, origin. We don't want to go across the origin as we do here in that one. But you can definitely uh, tip to tail or parallelogram. I'm a tip to tail fan, but either way is fine. Um, now let's talk about subtraction of vectors really fast. Let's say we have uh, v1 and v2. Now we want to subtract it, okay? If we subtract it, remember, positive and negative are just direction. We just change the direction of our vector that we're subtracting from. And then when we add it tip to tail, there's v2, there's v1, and then our resultant goes this way. So by subtracting just means changing direction of the one that's negative. Um, if we multiply by a scalar, all we do is give it a greater magnitude. It does not change direction. So if we know that it's one and a half times v, then we multiply by one and a half. Okay. If it's negative two times v, we do negative two times. So that does not change the uh, angle though, or the direction. Let's say uh, we have components of a vector, and this is your this is your trig again. So we have a we have a vector uh, displacement of 30 degrees north of east. We can resolve it into its x and y components, again using trigonometry, and we can find out what makes up the vector. This is what we're going to get into when we get into projectile motion. So starting with the angle, right, we can construct right triangles. And in doing so, we can do a lot of the trick stuff that you guys have done in geometry and in pre-cal, but uh, what we're going to see here is that these are the main um, things we're going to look at. Sine, cosine, and tangent, so Katoa. Um, we also know that 
for any given vector, sine, cosine, and tangent is all here. And then also Pythagorean theorem is something that we can use. So we can use any of the trig functions and Pythagorean theorem to solve for vectors. That's the way algebraically to do it. Some of you in calculus might have different ways. So here's an example. So we have a velocity vector of five, or a distance, or a displacement vector of 500 meters at a 30 degree angle north of east. If we want to define the x and y components of this vector, all we do is we take vy times equals v times the sine of theta. So we take 500 times the sine of 30, and we get 250. So that is our y component, okay? The x component is v times the sine, so we take our hypotenuse, times the cosine of theta, and we get that, we get 433. Another way to check ourselves, if we know it's 250 meters north and 433 meters, meters to the east, the Pythagorean theorem should get us to 500, which it does, which checks out our work. So the, the, the two are interchangeable. Now let's look at an example of this. Mail carrier's displacement. So we got a mail carrier leaving the post office. The mail carrier drives two drives 22 kilometers to the north and then then drives in the direction 60 degrees south of east what is her displacement from the post office so we want to try to find displacement by adding vectors now obviously we could draw this and that's kind of what we did here is we could draw this and graphically we if we had graph paper we could figure this out mathematically it's a little better but we just want to break things up into x and y parts okay so obviously for d1 or distance one there's no x but there is a y and it's positive 22 meters okay or kilometers sorry so we know our x and y for the first part now the second part we drive um, 60 degrees south of east for 47 kilometers so the first step is i want to find my distance the second part in x. x is is v times cosine of 60 because we're talking about the x. So v cosine of 60. My v is 47. And hopefully from trig, you remember the cosine of 60. It's 0.5, which leads me to have a positive 23.5 kilometers. So I just took this this part right here, okay, that and broke it apart into a y and an x. My x is right here, and it's in the positive direction. Now if you look at my y, it'll be in the negative direction. But we'll do the math. It's going to be negative. Okay, so it's going to be in the negative direction. Put a negative in front, 47, and we're doing the sine of 60. Now we're going to take out, uh, make it put it uh, in decimal form, so negative 47 times 0.866, and we get negative 40.7 kilometers, okay, 40.7. So my x, positive 23.5 kilometers, and my y, negative 47 kilometers. So I add all this up. My total in the x is 23.5. My total in the y is negative 18.7. All right, so I got positive 23.5, negative 18.7. So if I draw this, if I draw this uh, triangle out, positive 23.5 and negative 18.7. Now I want to find my resultant. Pythagorean theorem does this, so I take. 23.5 squared plus negative 18.7 squared and I take the square root of that answer and that will tell me what my answer is and it's 30 kilometers so my resultant is 30 kilometers now to find the angle okay I use tangent of theta and that's just going to be opposite over adjacent to find my angle, I gotta take the inverse tangent. So theta is tan negative one of opposite over adjacent. So my opposite 
of my of my angle here, right? My opposite of my right angle. And my opposite of my angle here, right, is going to be the y component. So that's going to be my negative 18.7. So I take negative 18.7 and divide it by take my negative 18.7 divided by 23.5 and take the inverse tangent. The angle I get for that will be 38.5 degrees. And so the displacement from the post office is 30 kilometers. And then 38.5 degrees, um, we could say south of east, if you will, or in a 38.5 degree direction. Um, so first steps, draw a diagram. Choose your axes, resolve each vector in x and y components, and then calculate each component using your equations. Okay, pay attention to signs. Um, add all your components together. Then, when you do that, use Pythagorean theorem and then use the tangent. So, if you follow those ways, you'll be able to solve any vector problem. So, here's another one three short trips, um, three legs, and you can see them both. So, we got x, so we got d1. And that one's going due east. So our x is going to be 620 kilometers. Our y is going to be 0. Um, D2, we want to break apart into, and so we got a 45 degree angle. Okay. So D2, since D2 is going this way, our x is going to be positive, but our y is going to be negative. So our x is just going to be our... Um, distance, which is 440. Since it's x, it's going to be cosine of 45. Our y is going to be 440 times the sine of 45. When we do the, the x, we get 311. When we do the y, we get negative 311. And then our third leg has an x and a y. Um, we look at our third leg, and this is going to be both negative, okay? Since they're both going to be in the negative direction, we're going negative down in the y, negative over in the x. But it's the same idea as we do 550 times the cosine of our angle, 53. It's going to be a negative answer, and then 550 times the sine of our angle, and that also will be negative. Negative 331 and negative 439. And we take our x's and y's and add them together. So our x is going to be 620 plus 311 minus 331. And when we do all that, our x component turns out to be 600 kilometers. And our y component of our is 0 minus 311 minus 439 equals negative 750 kilometers. To find our resultant, we do Pythagorean theorem. The square root of 600 squared plus negative 750 squared. And when we do all that, our resultant is 960 kilometers. So that's the length of this. And then we want to find our angle. We just do tangent. So our angle is the inverse tangent of opposite over adjacent. It's going to be the y over that x, negative 750 over 600. Calculate does all that work, and we get an angle of negative 51 degrees. So we got distance and direction.